Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech It Light, Rise of the Machines, here with Medius. We are standing in probably the safest place in the world, right on top of the nuclear reactor as the sun comes over our shoulder. And it may look like I have no armor on, but I took your guys' advice and I used the, whatever it's called, the transparency camouflage. I'm actually wearing armor, but you get to see me in my, my cool little, my jeans and my vest, <laughs> my, my Chuck Norris outfit here. So uh, I went ahead and re-equipped all of the, the power armor uh, because now I don't have to worry about what it looks like. So I think it's going to work a lot better this way. And I was, I decreased my jetpack's thrust a little bit because I found that, you know, it's like, oh, the thrust was like way too much for small situations. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and get into this. So I thought that was nice, the sun coming up. So I haven't actually, I just got, I don't have anything set up in the, in the reactor yet, but I did set up some solar panels. Now... I may end up doing some arrays, you know, low voltage, medium voltage arrays. I'm starting to get a fair amount of solar panels around the world, and I may switch to those. Uh, it all depends. But for right now, we've got some solar panels, and we are leading them down into here. A couple of MFSUs, right? What I'm going to do is I, I think that I will run another set off the reactor maybe over here, and then we're going to use... A couple of different types of teleportation of power all right what I want to try and do is mix it up a little bit um, I haven't f exactly figured out uh, which ones I want to use I know the tesseract version says it loses about 25% of your power during transmission so while while that's that's a lot but it's it's also you know it's it's a method of of doing it so i may use that for some smaller applications and then uh, obviously we always have the phased piping and there's a couple other methods that i may do um, but we're going to need that we're going to need this stuff i'm going to need to build you know i'm going to have a lot of power going on up in here and i'm going to need a way to teleport it because we're way up on the hill we're not going to pipe it all the way down we're going to build some quarries i'm thinking about Going out that way a little bit with some quarries, maybe. Maybe over there. Do just a couple small quarries as uh, test runs for the... I put this door in here, too. Just so I could, as I was jetpacking around, be easier. Now that I closed in the top, I got the door here. And we've got our, obviously, our power station there of death, which is kind of cool. Um, so I didn't take the ladders out of here yet. <laughs> almost fell. What I want to work on is there's a couple things that I need to to do. I need to prepare some machines and devices for future stuff. And when I say future stuff, I mean near near future, all right? It's important that I get this stuff built now. So when it comes to building the other stuff, I have this available if that makes sense. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about here. First thing I want to build, well first thing I did was I Followed your guys' advice, and using the minimum stone and iron ingots, I made ender pearls. So I've got like almost an unlimited amount of iron, and I can now I have an unlimited amount of ender pearls thanks to you guys. Good call out. Um, I tell you this, this stone actually comes in pretty handy when making ender pearls and when making uh, obsidian. It's just um, unrefined wood. To make obsidian, oddly enough, which is kind of cool because I needed I needed to pulverize some. You know, I I, I made these tesseract frames. Uh, I needed to to make. I see, hardened glass. Yeah, here we go, hardened glass, and that takes pulverized obsidian. So inside the magma crucible, I took out the liquid ender pearls, and I have nothing. Um, let's go with these. And I'm making this. I'm making liquid redstone, right? Now, the liquid redstone is going into the transposer here. You can see. Okay, so I'm, I'm making these, these redstone energy conduits, right? So you take, the, uh, you take these conduits here, which I made a, a... 
whatchamacallit, project table. I, a couple of you guys said that you like the idea of the project tables. Because remember, project tables are so cheap to make. Why not? Why not do this stuff, right? If you got the room and you want to, you know, there's things like the conduits, the machine frames, the, these uh, reception coils, stuff like that. You know, when I was building the other stuff, the servo motors, the solenoids, now that I'm done with those, I may change those over to some other stuff, like Sterling engines, right? Just stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Just make yourself a bunch of project tables. So we have energy conduits here. Hardened glass, and I guess I can, yeah, I think I'm going to need the hardened glass for a second. Uh, this uh, Electrum is just uh, gold dust and silver dust. It's gold dust and silver dust make Electrum blends. Then you put use your stone and coal with uh, seven of these will give you the ingots. So that's pretty good, pretty cool to make, and it gives you... Turns out I'm going to be using a lot of these here now. So this is the energy conduit. I guess we could take... Uh, there went my glass, huh? Look at that. I need some glass still. So... Oh, I shift clicked, didn't I? A derp! 52 of these things, which I don't need... Well, you know what? I'm going to end up using a lot of these, all right? Now... Again, this is one of those things that, sure, there's a lot of lot of different things you can use. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these empty energy conduits in here, right? And you can see it just turned into a redstone energy conduit. Now I have 13 of these bad boys. While we're talking, what I want to make now is um, energy, energy cell. Redstone energy cell, right? This is what we're going to make now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What I need is this frame. So we have those ingots we were just talking about. Electrum ingots, hardened glass, and a diamond, right? So we need to make these up. So give me some of these. Give me some of these. And I need a diamond, please. Two diamonds. Um, where's my empty table at? I've got so many things going on in here. I need an empty table. So hardened glass... I think it went like this. No, that was a diamond in the middle. There we go. That's right. All right, so let's put this in here because I want two of these. Okay, so I got two of these. Um, oh, what I was saying was the redstone energy energy conduits. There's a couple of different pipes and stuff you can use, right? But these are harder to make. These are more expensive to make. So I'm, I'm trying not to necessarily, like I said before, take the easy way out. And I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool looking. Um, okay, so now what I need to do is I need to take these and I need to fill them with the juice. I need to fill them with the goods. So I don't know. Let's see. 3825. Does it say how much it takes. Hopefully I have enough to fill both of these guys up because that's what I'd really like to do. So right now when it disappears it's obviously in the process of filling it up with the molten uh, redstone. Liquid molten redstone, right? Energy cell frame full. Okay? So let's take this guy out of here. Now, we're talking about making this. So we need some more of the ingots, the lead. We're going to end up with two of these. So we've got two of these, right? That's why I like those machines. Uh, the lead, I think I put over here. Oh, over here. Actually, I'm probably not going to make any more of these right now. All right, what was that recipe again? Okay, center, triple. All right. So there and there. This guy. This guy and a triple of these. And that's wrong. There goes my phone. Okay, so the ingot, lead, energy cell frame. They do some, they do something wrong here. Lead, electrum ingot, energy cell frame. It's supposed to be full. Oh, redstone conductance coil. Is that different than one of redstone reception coil? Ah, oh, oh my bad guys. I it, it look it looked the same. So how do you make this one? Redstone conductance coil. 
Aha, I got you. So instead of that, you need that. So you guys get back in there. Go to your home. Give me... Oops. Oh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Like this. So I only need two of these. So give me this back and you get... You go back to your home. You be ready to make your thing. See, they look exactly the same. It's an honest mistake, right? Honest mistake. All right, there's one. And let's um, let's make these again. Twenty-two. We'll go get our other guy. See if he's finished. Yes, you are. So this is a redstone energy cell now, and this is the empty guy that we're gonna fill up. So I have an idea. I have an idea with these guys. I want to you I want to use these <clears throat> in a couple different ways. There's some different ways. Now, here's the question, right? So, what I'm going to try and do, I think, is come up with one unique question, quest for you guys, okay? In every episode, possibly. If that's cool with you guys. If not, you know, I'll try and I'll try and I mean, try. I will figure it out eventually. <laughs> But here's my question to you. Redstone energy cell. These are three sterling engines, right? I'm going to put that guy right there. I'm going to fire up these engines. And we're going to start building slowly the energy cell. My qu Did I shoot both of them in there? My question to you is this. I need a more efficient, faster way to charge redstone energy cells than this. Okay? I'm not saying more more of these engines necessarily. I know I could probably line up a bunch of engines, right? Something like that with, I could pump into maybe these conduits. Okay, that might be an idea with the engines going in here. So, my first question would be, can you, can you come up with a method more efficient and faster than this, not using any kind of engine, not a redstone engine, not a sterling, not a combustion engine. Is there a way to get power to charge these guys? If not, maybe it would be a row of these engines utilizing some sort of conductive pipe or this uh, redstone energy conduit. So that would be your my question to you guys. All right, now here's what I don't know if is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Do that. Right now, there's nothing going in there. I'll get my wrench. Get my wrench. There's so many different wrenches. <laughs> okay, so that arrow is pointing in. That arrow is pointing in. Now that arrow is pointing out, right? See, the arrow is out now, and that one's in. So let's look and see. All right, did it just drain this guy? All right. So what that's going to do, it's going to pump through here into that. That's going to drain out of there into this one. I thought maybe that it would charge them both at the same time. But it's not going to. So, phooey. Well, alright. I'll, I'll leave it there for now and I'll, I'll obviously use this one first. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, I'm hungry. That's kind of a bummer. I thought maybe that might... Do it, do it at the same time. So you can see what I mean. If I want to use these energy cells a lot, like I'm thinking about using them for power of the quarries and things of that sort, I need a super, super efficient way to recharge these things. Charge and recharge them. And it doesn't matter um, to me if you guys come up with a method. Whoa, whoa. If you come up a method, method utilizing, um, you know, if I can convert, uh, need to convert IC2 power to build craft, I can do that. If I need to, whatever. I just want to get away from the engine. The engines are just really slow. And I'm going to eventually take out these engines and power these devices with the, uh, the conduits and maybe one of these cells, which, again, I'll need to recharge, so... All right, the next thing, the next item that I want to build, all right, is the... Um, assembly table, right? I'm gonna need an assembly table for some stuff I have in mind coming down the road. So I might as well build it now, get it mounted over there, because I think they look pretty cool, all right? So here's what we got. Obsidian, gear, diamond, redstone. Should be fairly easy. We, we have those parts. We have obsidian, 
we have uh, we have all the gears here. Um, we have redstone here. Might as well just take some like that. And we have diamonds in here. So it was obsidian. And the bum 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 bum. Was that right? No. Diamond in the center. All right. Diamond in the center. Diamonds in the center. Assembly table. All right. Now, but to go with the assembly table, you need the lasers, right? You need those lasers because this is what what activates um, what activates it. Then you need to power the lasers. So two obsidian, redstone, and diamonds. All right. So we need a couple more obsidian because I think we're gonna make um, maybe three three lasers. Yeah, maybe three lasers. Kind of expensive. Let's see. That's one, two. Do they stack? Yes, they do. Three. All right. You guys can all go back in there because this is my this is kind of my random table. Everything else right now is seems to be full. Now I've I've already thought of this a long time ago that I wanted to put this guy right in this area here. So if I do it here, I'm gonna do three. All right, I'm gonna put that there, and then the lasers. I believe it said that the lasers can go anywhere within five blocks. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like to put them up on the wall here, but that's gonna mess that up. I could put them on the ceiling, but I think I'm gonna put them like this. And that should work. They should, let's see, it's one, two, three, four. They should shoot down to there. Now I'm gonna need to power these, and I wanna power them with these energy conduits in one of these bad boys out there. So those engines, they're not doing terrible, but uh, just imagine running a bunch of these things, you know? Just running a bunch of them. So we got the energy cells, we got the lasers, the assembly table, and these redstone conduits. I, see, this is what I like about the redstone conduit, this type of stuff. Again, it's it's not easy. You could probably use what? Um, can you use a wooden conductive pipe and a gold conductive pipe to go, go here? You might. You might be able to. A lot cheaper, a lot easier, a lot easier way to do it. Um, let's put our wrench back in here. A lot cheaper, a lot easier way to do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that's gonna build up. It's gonna build up pretty nice. Now, let's see, what else do I have? I need to set up... Hmm, I really want... I guess I could go outside over here with my conduits. I need to break in and start to to get these things set up here. And I think, again, this is the first time I'm actually using, did you guys know I made this? Look, I, I had to do this because I put a couple of the, uh, the things underneath. And so when I'm done with this, what I'll do is I'll route the power out here with these, these conduits. All right, now, over here, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to break this stuff away. And find where my oh take it easy she's your lady all right so we go in one block and down one block so that would be this should be the back of it right here uh, do I have like double wall thickness Oh, there they are. Okay. All right, that's okay. We didn't do too much damage. Hey, the rain stopped. All right. Now, in this area here, the other thing about this stuff here is there's a possibility with the uh, with like uh, gold conductive piping that it could actually explode. The piping can, right? Because it can get over full, over filled, filled up. All right. Let's do that. Now, do I actually need to do that? I don't know. Maybe I can do all three and come up with one conduit up like this. That'll flow through here into all three of those lasers, right? And we'll come up here with the conduit. And we'll put an energy cell right here with this leading into it. All right? So I think that, that that's what we should do now. I'm going to... 
let's just take that energy cell even though it's not going to be anywhere near full so we can test this out and now you i mean you'll oh my gosh hello there we go all right i put my wrench back didn't i derp all right so we need the wrench to recoup this energy cell without you got to sneak and right click it and it should look at look how much is in there barely anything but I want to test this out I want to test it out <clears throat> so if you sneak and right click uh, you won't lose the energy that you have stored up in the cell so that's kind of important alright so we put that down put that down now we need to reverse this okay now it's gonna flow out of here and into those three now to test it um, we'll just take Maybe we'll take a piece of redstone and throw it in there, trying to make a, a redstone chipset. Redstone chipset. At least this way it'll show us if the lasers are actually working. All right, so let's take one piece of that. There we go. So all three lasers are working. That's good. That means that that, that setup right there will be... Well, I can You can add lasers. You can add more lasers to make it more efficient and faster. Not, not necessarily efficient, but faster. You're obviously going to use more energy and everything. But this is these these types of things, these chipsets and other things that I can make. There's not a whole lot of stuff that I need, but there are some things I'm going to need to make in the assembly table. So we have that, <clears throat> excuse me, we have that made up. So that's a good thing. That's one thing that we need for some future episodes. This right here, you guys, is, is pretty important. So uh, remember one thing. What I'm doing right now is I just finished watching... Oh, hold on. I don't want to lose that thing. <laughs> it just popped out. Derp. All right, so there's a redstone chipset. Good. So I just finished watching the Call of Duty Championship. So you can imagine it's Sunday night. It's almost 6 o'clock, and I'm making this video. I may make one more video tonight in Tech It because I'm actually having a, a ton of fun in here playing. So if I do... And you guys answer the question, but you see another video come out that I haven't actually applied some of your answers. Fear not. It's just because, you know, I make a couple, possibly two, sometimes even three videos before I make another one. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, cut me some slack on that. Believe me. Believe me, you guys. If you didn't, if you can't tell already, I read all your, uh, well, I read your comments in relation to you know, these questions I ask and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I don't sit there for hours reading every single comment. It's impossible. <laughs> but I do I do really appreciate all your guys' help. Every one of you guys. And um, I want to give a shout-out to Button Pusher, by the way. Button Pusher is, uh, is a good guy. And he's someone who, is, who has given me some good ideas on the technical side. And as you guys all know that I am in real life a technical guy and I, I appreciate the input from people like him that will um, allow me to push the technical limits inside here, all right? It takes a little bit of research on my end, but in the end, it's a lot more fun for you guys and for me to do some things that are a little bit more challenging. Because in Tech It, right, there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing, a lot of different ways. So everybody take the easy way out all the time, right? Then it's just a run-of-the-mill thing. Challenge yourself. It's just like I'm saying with these conduits you see. There's other ways of doing this, but and these are harder to make and more expensive, but this is a pretty cool way. That's why I'm going to use a couple of different methods of, of energy teleportation. But the one thing I've come up against that I haven't done, I mean, I did a little bit of research, but I haven't been able to find anything yet, is how to charge these energy cells the redstone energy cells faster so you guys help me out with that be greatly appreciated and i will uh bring it to you as soon as i as soon as you guys you know give me some info i'll test it out and we'll go with that so with that being said i'm going to bring this episode to a closure we got some pretty cool stuff made we got um, our lasers lasers we got the energy cells the conduits going we're uh mol melting down redstone doing a lot of cool stuff so um I got a ton of good ideas. I got a ton of stuff coming up. And so I'm slowly having to make these machines to make these ideas possible. So I think maybe next episode, next episode or two, we'll get the uh, nuke plant going and we'll look into power teleportation. All right? So anyway, guys, thanks for watching Tech at Light Rise of the Machines with Meaty. See you guys next time.